What's up guys, Blade Angel here, and I know a long time ago I said I'd make this a monthly thing, but whoops, sorry for taking so long to make a second one. Anyways, here it is. I want to start this video off by addressing a really huge confusion that a lot of people have between my brother and myself. I live in Indiana and my brother lives in Texas. Guys, we are not kids, we don't live in the same house. We're both young adults who attended Purdue University and my brother graduated and ended up finding a job back in his home state of birth, Texas, so he moved there. He has a full-time job and that he needs to attend to that makes him far too busy to drive over a thousand miles just to drag race. We will try to make a video where we can get both of our cars in the same place, but right now life's just way too busy for the both of us, so that's just how the real world works. This rolls right into another question I get a lot, which is how we afford our cars. Believe it or not, I'm not going to fire any shots at JR Garage and try to expose them or anything. I absolutely believe that people can become entrepreneurs in this world, but let's be real, not everyone can be one, me included. My brother and I are your normal run in the mill people and I started this channel off in order to help ordinary people buy the cars of their dreams, which doesn't have to be a supercar. Before someone tries to say, wow, that's so discouraging saying not everyone can be an innovator or entrepreneur, my response to that is simply the lines from the Incredibles movie, if everyone is super, no one is. Not everyone has the potential to be an innovator, and some people blatantly don't want to. They're content with the life they have, and there's nothing wrong with that. I would put myself in that category, as I don't see myself owning a supercar or finding a need to own one, as I'm happy to work for what I can and buy what I love. So here we see someone commented that we must be stupid rich, and this guy even goes as far as to say we live in the richest part of Indiana. I already debunked that because there is no we in this, only one of us lives in Indiana, which is me. In regards to how my brother and I bought our cars, I'll start with my brother first since that's the easier one to answer. So, you know how everyone you know is telling high schoolers that they need to go to college, graduate, to get a degree that then can be used to get a job? Well, guess what? Believe it or not, my brother did that exact thing. Mind-blowing, right? Sorry for being a sarcastic a-hole, but I see way too many college memes or people complain over and over over again about, wow, college is such a scam, I just went through four years and can't even find a job after graduating. That either means you didn't pick a major that was marketable, or you yourself suck at marketing yourself to a company. Making memes about failing interviews won't make you any better at interviews, so these people need to get up and stop complaining and be the change they want to see. However, I will mention that you don't need college to be successful, but please have a plan set. One of my brother's best friends who owns a sick superbike served in the military instead of going to college, and he's doing just fine, doing dank wheelies and whatnot. I'd say he's a happy guy. Back to the topic though, my brother graduated with a major in CIT and minor in business. I'm not going to give the exact number my brother makes yearly, instead I'll say what most Purdue graduates with his major get around, which is $55,000 as their annual starting salary. Regardless, it's more than enough to buy a 2017 Camaro SS and Yamaha R6 and still have enough to take care of any other overhead like living expenses, insurance, etc. Property tax is pretty insane in Texas, but he's doing alright. In regards to how I bought my car, here's the general gist of it. Obviously, the biggest thing you'll have to consider before going to college is whether or not you'll be able to pay off the student loan debt. I had a plan set before even going to university. In my senior year of high school, I only had a 3.3 cumulative GPA and a 1970 overall score on the SAT. Keep in mind, this was when the SAT had a writing section. Heck, I don't even know if the SAT is even still relevant, since it's been a while since I was in high school. Either way, I do have to say this. Scholarships are everywhere. If you are a high schooler watching this who intends to go to college, don't miss out on scholarships. You can get them from literally anywhere for almost anything. Just look hard enough and make sure you yourself are working hard enough. Like I said, no lemonade stands and Ferraris here. I'm going to talk to you about how an average teenager can still be able to afford a car that's 20, 30, even 40 grand. And if you're a teenager who plans to go to college, do not get crushed by student loans. Defeat them while you can. It's significantly harder to get scholarships when you're already enrolled in university, so pick them up beforehand. 
I worked at Walmart for two years and made enough to afford at the time a brand new 2013 in Nissan Sentra. They also gave me a whopping $13,000 scholarship for university. Guys, a lot of the places you work at can give amazing future career opportunities. Use those resources. I then got 10 grand more from various government grants. I then worked part time in the dining courts at Purdue for one semester, which gave me about three grand as I didn't take that many hours. However, the final kicker is that I defeated the remaining student loan debt by becoming an RA or resident assistant at Purdue University. The RAs there at Purdue basically get a full ride. They get a huge tuition waiver, food expenses covered, and living expenses covered. I'm not saying that you should become an RA just for money though, and different universities give different benefits. I will say that it's not a job you can half ass, as I was assigned to the worst dorm on campus that had all the partying normie hype beasts. I was up until 4am all the time dealing with puke, alcohol, drunk kids, and marijuana on a weekly basis. Fortunately, I had an amazing staff to work with and my RA buddies helped me through it all. With student loan no longer hanging over me, it meant that every dollar I was earning from that day on was money going into my pocket. Side note, if you're in college, please for the love of God, don't get yourself in debt with a credit card. That's another issue some students do to themselves on top of their already crippling student loan debt. Finally, my YouTube channel exploded recently and I'm not comfortable giving the specifics as it's against AdSense policy. I traded in my Nissan Sentra and used my YouTube money to buy Mustang GT. And that's all she wrote. That's how we got here. The biggest takeaway to any of my younger viewers is to ask yourself what you want from college. Make sure you're keeping up with your grades and grab as many scholarships and grants as you can. If you can defeat student loan, you still have one more battle to fight, which is what you expect from your future career and what you want to do with your major. If you can graduate student loan free with a job, then I guarantee you, you can easily buy the car of your dreams. If you don't want to deal with college, then you don't have to. Just forge a path for yourself. Another thing I have to mention is that I hardly hung out or went partying, etc. I'm not saying that any of those things are bad, but understand that it costs money each time you do it. Even if you're only spending $20 a night, that builds up over time. It's also taking away time too. I've known way too many people who failed tests because they've spent the night partying instead. This can lead to losing scholarships if your grades keep dropping. As an RA, I've had to bust people for breaking university policy and the consequences that followed sometimes resulted in people losing full ride scholarships. It pisses me off because these same people see me driving my 2016 California special and look at me like I'm the spoiled one. They look over and tell me having fun, enjoying your parents money, and I laugh and respond back no parents money here, just smart decisions. I'm not saying you shouldn't have fun with your life, but be smart about it. If someone knowingly does something that risks their scholarship and they lose it as a result, cry me a goddamn river. I hope you guys learned something from this video, and I'm sorry if I sound a bit too passionate or edgy at times, but I really want people to understand the effort it takes to get what you want. Not everyone could snap their fingers and get their dream car. Life isn't a video game, there are no redos, so do try your best and do it right the first time around. I'm sorry this question took up the whole video, but leave comments behind that you'd like me to answer in the next Q&A. Having said that, I do plan on making more informative videos from now and since I have felt recently inspired by Gears and Gasoline's latest video to be less hateful about certain parts of car culture. So thanks for watching, Blade Angel out.